Hey everybody, John from CheerfulGhost.com here. Um, I got access to the Escape Goat 2 beta. Um, it's not Escape Goat 2 is not quite out yet. Um, and I asked if I could do a review of it, and I was uh, and Ian said yes. So I decided to do a little bit of a let's play of the first few levels, and then I'll do sort of a written review on CheerfulGhost.com. So if you haven't played the original Escape Goat, I, I recommend you head to Steam or the Humble Store and buy it and play it. It runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux, as does Escape Goat 2 and uh, my reviews on the Mac version, so it um, works really, really well on the Mac. Um, yeah, and if you've if you ever played the original, um, you're going to notice that Escape Go 2 is a lot like it, but everything is ramped up. Uh, the graphics are way better, the play control's tighter, the levels are really great, so it's everything you loved about the original game, but just... Um, Everything's a lot more polished, and everything looks and plays fantastic. So, just kind of run through the first few levels here, um, yeah, and then uh, just to give everybody kind of a impression of how the game sort of runs. So, like with all great platformer games, uh, Escape Goats. Tosses you in and teaches you the basic mechanics a little bit at a time, which is a really, really great way to let people know how to play the game. And I'm playing the game with the Xbox 360 controller, and it works great, as did the original. So, And the goal of a scapegoat is to... I knew you'd arrive, I'm taking a nap just ahead. So, uh, the goal of a scapegoat is to find the key and get out of the level, basically, so you can exit it. And the original escape goat had a pixel art feel to it. This one has a more hand-drawn quality to it which I uh, really love. I'm a huge fan of pixel art myself, um, so I wasn't really sure how the new art would uh, would hit me, but I really, really like it a lot. In fact, I think Escape Goat 2 is uh, pretty much better in just about all respects than the original. So. Yes, I must. Goats always make a racket. I really love this glass window level aesthetic. I think that's a really, really nice touch. All right. And the mouse makes an appearance back from the original game, which was one of the mechanics I loved about the original, so... I'm really glad that it's back. And if you played the original Escape Goat, Escape Goat 2's story picks up right where the first game left off. I like how the mouse just automatically snaps to the wall there. It's a really nice, it's a really nice element. Yeah, beat this level too. If 
think I'm just going to take it a few more levels in because I just wanted to give everyone just kind of a sneak peek as to what the next escape goat will be. And I don't believe I've made it to this level before, so... In my playtesting. So... Down B. Oh, that's right. Put the mouse on it. Where are my brethren? Can you find them? I laid down but a minute. Sheep soul or brilliance. Oh. It's like they have a choice. Anyways, awesome. Uh, you didn't really... Yeah, that's great. Looks like I can choose between the left and the upper path. Anyways, I just want to thank everybody for watching this video. Um, if you want to talk more about Escapegoat or read our reviews with Ian uh, Stoker, the creator of Escapegoat, about it, uh, check cheerfulghost.com slash interviews or cheerfulghost.com and do a search for Escapegoat. All right, everybody. Have a good one.